So uh, we've just crossed, not sure exactly, but I noticed it the other day, we've crossed a thousand kilometers in the trip. So that's what a thousand kilometers of dirt looks like. The van was spotless. I gave her a real good clean before we left. So she's uh, a bit grubby now. One thing I did do is I cleaned the top, the roof. Uh, I cleaned, um, just get up here on these rocks. I cleaned the roof. Um, I have the glasses on. So I gave the roof a proper clean. I noticed in the grooves they were building up sort of like a, a white kind of caking, you know, from dirt and so on. And uh, it was only really when I actually cleaned the roof properly and gave it a proper polish and good waxing that I noticed how dirty it had gotten, really. So I think I cleaned it once before, maybe a year or two ago. So something to obviously consider when you're cleaning it, but yeah, it's pretty grubby now after a thousand kilometers. So how do I look? The um, yeah, so so the weather last night was um, better. It was uh, still wet, still lots of rain. wasn't as windy. We're obviously very sheltered here, you know. So it's a nice little sheltered spot. So it wasn't too bad. It's quite actually. It's quite warm now. It's very humid. The weather forecast is pretty accurate now. It's kind of warm and humid and it's calmed down. Uh, it was a pity about yesterday with the weather. So the only that's the only thing that happened yesterday was that the issue is, just to note, the chairs are very light and uh, the gusts of wind caught one of them yesterday and this is all concrete here. And the gust of wind caught the chair and pulled it along the ground on the arms, on the armrests, so they're badly scuffed. Um, which is a pity and um, our little barbecue fire and stuff like that was a disaster it didn't work out either so a lesson for myself to not to have those things in um, in the wind I thought we were not I thought it was kind of sheltered here I didn't think it was that bad but um we couldn't do it so we were trying what we wanted to do was have a bit of a barbecue and melt a few uh, marshmallows and things like that but as you could see from the earlier footage it was a bit of a disaster today will be a far better day it's much quieter and calmer. I should have known really from the drone, the way the drone was dancing in the air, I should have known that uh, it was just too windy, you know, so lesson learned for myself. So the plan for today is to head to, um, we've been, tr I've been trying to book campsites, but there's no, all the campsites are, the campsites kind of on the way or kind of that would suit us are either, they're not accepting um, they have statics and things like that so they're not accepting camper vans and so on and also a lot of the hotels that we've been trying to get a hold of are one night only and there's one hotel that looked really really lovely but it was 250 euro a night and a minimum of two nights so a bit extreme but it's COVID I suppose so the plan today is to head to Barley Cove in Cork and then to um, and then that's it then so Unless we see somewhere on the way, or we, we stumble across somewhere, something like that. There is a campsite near there, you know, that I did try, but again, they're saying they're not accepting. So, um, we'll have to then wild camp uh, at Barley Cove, which is fine. I don't mind doing it, you know, just kind of thinking to the guys at this stage now, it's probably be nice to have a shower and things like that. So, uh, that's, that, that's the thing I'd say with the kind of camping, wild camping. This is the first time we've done it. We've done it so much. So obviously, the things that you're not getting to do are uh, shower, which is a bit of an issue because obviously we shower so often, shower so often at home. So it's a bit of a problem. And uh, what else? I think just trying to book places has proven a bit more difficult than I thought. But I'm not sure now whether it's because of COVID or what. You know, so many people are staycationing, but I think at this time of year you'd have so many tourists here. So I think the lesson is, I think the lesson for myself is that um, I'd say we'd probably wild camp, but then book ahead the various hotels and campsites that you want to stay in well in advance. So on some level it kind of defeats the purpose because what I wanted to do was completely camp, like not plan at all. But it just kind of just proves that unless you're prepared to wild camp completely, 
you can't you do you can't just rock into hotels I'm probably just conditioned to thinking that way because of so many hotels I've stayed in that are work related that you know they have availability and um, but it, clearly this is a very touristy area it's the wild Atlantic way and it's the summer people are staycationing so trying to book into places is just not going to happen so that's that's that okay it's a very low tide you can see from, from that rock like you can see I don't know if you can see it on the rope there's a kind of a uh, hanging on the rope that looks like there's some kind of part of someone's fishing line but that was at the that's where the water was yesterday you couldn't see that rock. I was wondering what that rope was attached to, but you can see now it's attached to that rock. And that beach is completely exposed. And normally the water is, I'd say the water is halfway up that wall it was yesterday. So it is quite tidy here. You know, the water was up to that kind of platform. It's so much milder today. It's unbelievable. So much milder. It's almost humid. Unbelievable. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Hit the camera earlier, you know. Mm. Gone on about the trip. So that's the other thing we've discovered as well. The amount of water we get. Did I say this in the video yesterday? I can't remember. I can't remember. So the, the thing the thing we've noticed is the amount of water we're getting through as well is um intra Did I say I have a feeling I said this or was we talking about it? We were definitely talking about it. I can't remember. So we have we are getting through we are getting through a fair bit of water. Um with cooking and cleaning and all that kind of stuff and brushing our teeth and so on and everything. That's amazing. So I think the capacity, I, I don't know, without reading the book, I'm not sure, but I'm going to guess the capacity of the tank is about 25 litres, maybe something like that. And um, we, we fairly hoofed through that. So actually, we had a bit of an emergency yesterday because we were very low. Not we, we were down to one bar on the fresh water tank, so that means we're probably, what, seven or eight litres left. But then we noticed we'd ran out of fresh drinking water, or we were very low on fresh drinking water as well. So, um, and this place is kind of remote. We can't pop into a shop. So... This is, the, I suppose, in a way for us, I think, the kind of camping, the wild camping, this has kind of, it's good because I think we get practice in for this kind of thing. And we would definitely realize that we need more water. Access to water is an important thing as well. Um, so that's something I hadn't considered before, you know, you know, that you could just run out of water actually, which I would never have thought of. So this stuff, this is what we have now. This is what we're down to a few bottles of this left, aren't we? Two bottles, I think. Sips, yeah, remember? Not all for you. It's thirsty. We still have a, we still have that fizzy water, though, haven't we? Yeah, but you'll leave that. <coughs> you'll drink all the good stuff, and then you leave the fizzy water, and you go, "Where's my fizzy water?" Because it's all about Jason. <laughs> In it. Thank you. 
Bye. So, we got here, and uh, myself and Christian were in the sea. How long have we been in the sea? For about an hour? An hour, yeah. In the sea for about an hour. Absolutely lovely. The water was just perfect. It's nearly five o'clock now, so. Yeah, really, really nice water. The only thing is, it's full of jellyfish. And I'm almost positive they are little small Portuguese man of war or something like that. They're definitely some kind of. Uh, it's, there's a lot of them. I was surprised to see them floating around. But other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. The water is lovely. The tide has gone out and got a bit chilly. So we kind of bailed, didn't we? Huh? We bailed, didn't we, buddy? Yeah. Christian's cold. So we're just going to sit here for a while and just. Oh yeah, look at that, you can see it in the distance. Can't you? It looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. Can't you like that anyway? Like Baywatch. Very safe beach actually. Yeah, very good actually. Okay, you seem to have to walk across it in a funny way. Shows, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's about. <laughs> that's about right. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm gonna be exactly like that when I get to the water. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? I, I I've never seen a pontoon like this before, except uh, anywhere else except here. Wait for me, Vanessa. No. I can't believe how much the tide has gone out. That's incredible, isn't it? I don't know, I don't want to put it on YouTube. I don't want to put it onto the camera. Yeah, no, you can show it on YouTube. Ooh, stinks. I don't know. I don't know. Do we have big fish in some description? They don't have bones. Not like that. No, I'd say more than likely a sheep's fallen off somewhere. Because that's what always happens, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that, that is amazing, isn't it? How much it's yeah, gone in. But look at that. On, so where where were we today? We were we were just I'm up on a, no. We would have been basically along here, wouldn't we? This line here. There about. No, but I mean we didn't go out that far. Oh yeah, no, you were We were kind of in this plane here, weren't we? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, the Portuguese man of war. I, well, they look, well, I think, I don't know. See, they could be, they look like them because they're the little sail. They could, like little, maybe they're bigger. Could be a different variant of it. Whatever it is, he's dead. 